In this video, we are going to focus on some uh, physical properties, um, chemical properties, and the uses of uh, nitrogen and sulfur. Nitrogen is diatomic colorless gas, where sulfur is octatomic yellow solid. Here are some chemical properties. Nitrogen is an inert gas. It is unreactive. We can say it has a lack of reactivity. Why? Because nitrogen has three strong covalent bonds and these three strong bonds require actually high energy, something like 994 kilojoules per mole to get split these two nitrogen atoms. And it reacts only under extreme conditions where we need high temperature and pressure or in some reactions we need the presence of catalyst. When compared to nitrogen, compared with nitrogen, sulfur is a reactive element with only 264 kilojoules per mole of energy to break down these single bonds between the sulfur atoms in sulfur molecule. When we concentrate on the uses of nitrogen, the important usage of nitrogen is because of its inertness or lack of reactivity. In some chemical processes, in chemical reactions, we need an oxygen-free environment and nitrogen is the main gas that can provide this. Since nitrogen is an inert gas, it provides an inert atmosphere where the use of oxygen or the presence of oxygen is hazardous for the reaction. For so, I mean, oil, oil recovery, we need this one. The function is there, nitrogen under pressure is used to force the oil to come up to the surface from underground to the underground. Nitrogen is also used in the manufacture of some electronic components. Um, uh, this nitrogen, this pure nitrogen provides a blanketing layer for these electronic components. The liquid nitrogen is used in the storage of some materials. Um, pure liquid nitrogen is used um, in storage. Okay. Ammonia, the most important compound of nitrogen, is the measure, or we can say the application of ammonia is measured when compared to pure nitrogen. And almost 160 million tons of ammonia is produced each year throughout the world. There are so many applications of ammonia. Here is the use of sulfur. The pure sulfur is used in strengthening rubber. And this is called a vulcanization. In vulcanization, um, sulfur is used to form a cross links between the rubber molecules. And this makes the rubber strong. Um, sulfur, pure sulfur is also used in the production of sulfur dioxide and sodium sulfide, where do these two important compounds are used um, to preserve the foods in food bottling, and they are used in brewing or wine making. And it is because of their antimicrobial property. As, a, as it was in, in nitrogen, how ammonia was an important compound of nitrogen and application of ammonia it was more than that of pure nitrogen. Sulfuric acid is also the measure. It has a measure applicance in, in, in industry when compared to pure sulfur. And almost 200 million tons of sulfuric acid are produced each year throughout the world. And we can say sulfuric acid, uh, in one case, we can say that almost all other 
chemical products require this sulfuric acid, uh, or we can we, we can say that uh, we can claim that almost every manufactured product requires the use of sulfuric acid in in at most states. Uh, here is the end of our today's video. Um, keep in touch. Welcome.